What's going on guys? Oh my Godzilla back here with another Godzilla figure review guys. Today we're taking a look at the Godzilla vs. Kong Funko Pop 3-pack. It's a BAM exclusive. It's a really cool one. Let's jump right in. <laughs> We are here taking a look at the BAM exclusive Funko Pop Godzilla vs. Kong 3-pack. This features a Heat Ray Godzilla, a standard Mecha Godzilla, and then also features the Kong with Battle Axe. This is a really, really cool set. We'll just take a quick look at some of the packaging here. So you got the Godzilla vs. Kong movie accurate logo, Pop Movies up there. You got the three figures in the open window. I like how it has the three figures down along the bottom. You got the 3-pack names up here you got your bam sticker here's a look from the side just that says the three pack here is the back it's got the monsterverse logo i really enjoy that got your figures shows all the other things you can get in the line um the 10 inches the godzilla standard the heat ray mecha godzilla battle ready kong kong battle ready x and the battle scarred kong obviously does not show off the mecha godzilla with his um, proton scream or the flocked kong those are kind of variants that we're not we don't see on the back of this package because they came later and here is the other side. Check out the bottom if you want to check it out. Scan, track them, or you can use the Funko web to check out the trending value of this set. Guys, um, this is a BAM exclusive, and it is still in stock as of today. So we'll head over to BAM. I'll link it in the com in the description below. You can head over and pick one of these up for yourself. I think it's only $35, a pretty good deal, considering you're getting a very nice big open window box and three very, very cool figures. Now, speaking of the cool figures... Um, let's take a look at them really quickly. And what I've done is I, I only got one three pack because I didn't really see a point in getting two three packs and opening, you know, to have one to open. So I'm going to keep that one sealed because I did get, I do have all of the other, all the Funko Pops that these, that the three pack represents. And I do have two copies of each of those. So we're going to just go ahead and take a look at these figures to represent the figures in the box because they are the same thing. So, we'll go left to right here, guys. So, the first one on the left side of the three-pack there is the Heat Ray Godzilla. It is number 1018, 1018. So, you got the Heat Ray. This is not the glow-in-the-dark version. The glow-in-the-dark version has glowing eyes, spines, and the Heat Ray. But it, has a, it comes with a detachable Heat Ray piece. Godzilla does not need it to stand up. We'll take a quick peek at the Heat Ray piece. Really cool. It's got the blue deal with it. it looks really flamey and awesome, and it's got kind of an explosion that comes even with the bottom. It's cool how it sits nice and tight there on the bottom. So I really enjoy that for sure. So there is our heat ray piece. Setting that aside, guys, we can take a look at the Godzilla. He's in a really cool pose, looking all awesome. Arms open, legs posed open. And then he's got the inside, you can see the black kind of hole. That's where the mouthpiece, the, the, the heat ray plugs in. But I really enjoy the detail on this Godzilla. For Funko Pops, I think Funko did a great job with this line. The, the detail on these guys is really awesome. Check out the mouth. He's got the blue tongue in there I really like. Catch that in the right light. The teeth look great. The eyes are really cool. The scales on all of his body look great. Obviously, they, didn't really, they even did a little bit on the bottom here. The feet are not too much done because they got the stamps. But even under the toes has a little bit of, uh, you know, some detailing under there. But the tail looks good underneath even. And then the spines just look amazing. They're, they're small, but that's fine considering it's Funko. But they still look really, really great. I definitely am psyched that Funko took the time to make these sculpts so good. And check out the claws, guys. I really, really like the claws. Both the toes and the fingers. Everything about these is just amazingly detailed. And considering you can get these for fairly inexpensive, the individual Funko Pops you could get for... At, you know, at, the, at your regular stores for, for, you know, 10 to $15 for these Funko Pops. So that's a really good deal, I think. And then I have a, I have a sealed copy as well that I have in the hard pop protectors, the pop stacks. But the, so there's our Heat Ray Godzilla. Moving over next, number 1019 is the Mecha Godzilla. This one is a little different than the Heat Ray Mecha Godzilla, the Mecha Godzilla with the Proton Scream. That one is looking a little more down, so we can have his, his, uh, his red beam going down. But so this one is a unique sculpt for the, the standard Mechagodzilla. It's different. Uh, obviously, the standard and the three-pack are going to be the same. But this is a really good job in capturing the Mechagodzilla. I think this is this this face totally looks like when he looks over at Godzilla after coming out of the mountain. And kind of, you know, he looks up and that list looks perfect right there. It looks exactly movie accurate almost. 
Um, you know, they even did they even did a good job getting the uh, little buzzsaw drill spinning saws that are in his inside his mouth to make his bite extra horrible. Um, really good detail throughout here. The spines look great. I really like how they did the red tips. Um, something Playmates completely ignored. They just made the whole spines red. I wouldn't mind if we had a little bit more, you know, red or some blacks in here. But obviously, definitely looks great. Check out the tail. You got the little blades. No articulation on these guys. Funko Pops don't really ever get into that. But I think all things considered, it looks really good. They got the little X's on the arms and legs. So they definitely did, uh, they definitely did a great job with this Mecha Godzilla again. Bottom of the feet have some detail, a little bit of markings there, and obviously go above and beyond, but the, the bottom of the tail looks great. It looks just as good as the sides and the top. So they definitely did not spare any expenses on that. The hands will look awesome. We got one open, one closed. I really like how they did not just do two standard kind of boring same hands. So they, they did do a closed and an open. I definitely think that was a, a detail that they, they, uh, they def didn't, didn't necessarily have to do, but I'm very glad they did do it just makes the figure that much more incredible. And obviously the last figure that is included in the three pack is the Battle Axe Kong number 1021. Let's check him out. So he's got the nice orange eyes glaring. He's got, you got the nose scratch. You got this, you got the scar on the chest, the Battle Axe. It's kind of funny that, you know, the Battle Axe was obviously made from a, uh, a, a dorsal spine of a Godzilla, but his, his is significantly larger than the Godzilla's obviously because the axe is kind of a main a main focus of the Kong Funko Pop, and the spines are a secondary feature on the Godzilla Funko Pop. But it's just kind of funny how that ended up being the spines on Godzilla are tiny, and the and the the, uh, the battle axe on Kong is large. So Kong actually has a little bit of articulation on the head there. He's not a bobble really because his head doesn't like you know shake, but it does. His you will get, you, get, you can get some rotation, so you can kind of have him. You know, it's nice to be able to have a little. You can have him looking over that way, or kind of straight on. So it's definitely nice to have a little bit of options, a tiny bit of articulation on the, on a Funko Pop. And then um, same same deal with Kong as the rest of them. The detail looks great. Check out, you know, the fur patterns look good. Definitely didn't go too lazy. You got the, the back looks great. Um, a few seams here and there, but that's okay. The feet look pretty fine. No no real detail on the bottom of him. But the tops, you you know, they went they went on, you know, they gave him toenails and... and little wrinkles where his knuckle his, his knuckles would be the hands same deal you got the fingernails knuckle wrinkles definitely looks good check out the battle axe so all things considered guys considering these are funko pops and i don't come into them with expecting too much they definitely did a great job on these so obviously like i said these three funko pops are uh are the standard are the, are the heat ray godzilla mech godzilla and the kong with battle axe that together make the BAM exclusive three pack. So I just wanted to get you a look at the figures. That's what we're dealing with inside the packaging. That's what you have in here. So really cool. I definitely would recommend picking this up guys. Let me know in the comments, do you have this set and do you have the whole Godzilla vs Kong Funko Pop line? This is the newest piece in the line. I'm really hoping for more. Also, let me know in the comments guys, what, if anything, would you want next from Funko in the Godzilla vs Kong lineup? Per personally, my number one would be a Godzilla vs Kong or Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla where they're doing the proton, their proton scream and the and his heat ray kind of, kind of colliding. So, you know, Godzilla on one side, Mechagodzilla on the other, and their heat rays colliding. I think that'd make a really, really cool looking Funko Pop. And you could do it in something as big as a three pack box, um, have Godzilla, Mechagodzilla, and then their heat rays kind of coming and meeting in the middle. Guys, last thing really quick for those of you who do care, box measures just over a foot in length. In height, guys, we're looking at about six and a half inches. Depth, just under four. And I uh, just wanted to throw the measurements out there for you really quick in case anyone cares about that. And then obviously the Funko Pops are the standard 3.75 inch Funko Pops. So uh, I think they really stand more about four inches, but I think they call them 3.75. But anyways, guys, there is your Godzilla vs. Kong three pack featuring Heat Ray Godzilla, Mecha Godzilla, and Battle Axe Kong. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more, and we'll see you in the next one.